Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. She is now out of the presidential race so early in the game, too. You know, when this woman came to the Black community, she pulled out every stereotype in her little bag. She pulled out the hot sauce. She danced to Cardi B. She talked about them weed-smoking Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember all that? And then she said, if you think I'm just going to do something for a black community, now, nah! okay. So, <clears throat> look like Kamala and her stereotypes are gone. But she sure didn't pull the stereotype bag out on anybody else except for the black community. Quite entertaining. So, she suspended her campaign this afternoon. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, this just go to show you the power of the black voter in America. We can make or break you. And we decided to break Kamala in half and never want to see her again. You know, when I first heard about Kamala, it was probably when Obama was still in office and they referred to her as the female version of Obama. Well, we didn't really need that <laughs> after experiencing Obama. We don't need nothing that resembles Obama in office ever again. So the way I see it, bye Felicia, okay? I, I will not miss you. And then when I heard about how treacherous her track record were with African-Americans in California, I was certain I didn't want to see this woman again. So over the recent days, we heard about one of her uh, campaign workers coming out and really spilling the beans about how bad her campaign was. So ladies and gentlemen, Kamala had um, emailed her supporters, letting them know she was ending her campaign and the lack of money. So I guess the money was not pouring in. And she says, I'm not a billionaire. I can't fund my own campaign. And y'all want to know something? Michael Bloomberg just entered the campaign not even a week ago. And he came in higher than Kamala, who's been out there campaigning for the last few months. He came out the gate ahead of her. So, um, and as the campaign has gone on, it's become harder and harder to raise money. We need to compete, she wrote. And you know what? And she didn't have the Black uh, support at all. She did not. You know, I, if you remember, she said, if you think I'm going to just do something for Black people, no. Okay, well, you think we're going to vote for you? No. <laughs> okay, well, we sure don't have to worry about that anymore. Ain't that right, Kamala? So she wrote, in good faith, I'm telling you, my supporters and volunteers, that I have a path forward if you don't believe I do. So to you, my supporters, it is with deep regret, but also with deep gratitude that I am spend, uh, suspending my campaign today. And if you ask me, she should have uh, suspended this months ago. Harris 55 entered the race as a rising star representing the more youthful and diverse voter. That's not true. She, she never really had a strong Black following, and that's the truth. Uh, her high-profile interrogations of uh, Trump administration officials and Senate hearings rocketed her to national acclaim, and her polished campaign launch established her in the top tier of a crowded democratic field. But over the past few weeks, I heard she was in fifth place. Oh, that don't sound like, <laughs> that don't sound too good. Fifth place. 
But Harris struggled to articulate a distinct reason for her candidacy and campaign attempt to regroup midway through the year for a last ditch effort to win over Iowa, a state she had initially placed little emphasis on in her primary strategy. Fellow Democratic contenders, including some of Harris' most spirited sparring partners, reacted to the news with praise. Found, um, former Vice President Joe Biden, whom Harris laced into the first debate in June over his past position on school busing, lauded her as the first-rate intellect, a uh, first-rate candidate, and a real competitor. Well, it's easy to say them things. <laughs> you you know, she's out of the race. I have mixed emotions about it because she is really a solid, solid person and loaded with talent, but he told reporters during a campaign stop in Iowa. South Bend, Indiana, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, whose success with big dollar donors ate into Harris fundraising base, wrote on Twitter that Harris has spent her career advocating for the voiceless and the vulnerable. No, that's not how I remember her. When she was attorney general, she wanted to keep low-level drug offenders in there longer so they could get the prison work done. And don't, rem and don't forget about the truancy that she wanted to enforce on parents of kids that did not go to school. So she had some harsh policies, especially towards the black community. I'm grateful for her leadership. Okay, whatever. All right. So it just talks about her bio. She was born in Oakland and mainly raised in Berkeley. Harris is the daughter of immigrants. Yes, she is. Okay. If you remember her mother from India, her father from Jamaica. You know, so they're claiming her biracial background was an asset at the time when African Americans, Latinos, and Asians are important blocks in the Democratic coalition. Yeah, but she didn't connect to anybody. She couldn't. She couldn't because too many people in the Black community knew this woman's track record. And we weren't about to overlook it, you know? And even as a Senator, she didn't do anything big for the black community, you know? Nor did she do a lot of talking about um, things that she would do for us, even in the debates, you know, it's almost like they completely blocked out the black community, but they know one thing for certain, they cannot win any elections without us. White Democratic votes don't win elections, period. They just don't. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it says that she's leaving voters unclear. Well, I don't think too many of us are unclear about Kamala leaving the race, nor do we care. <laughs> like you think we do, but those of you do care, I'm sure you'll have plenty to say on your channel, on this channel. I don't care that Kamala dropped out of the race. And quite frankly, I think Cory Booker should go too. And I think he will, because he suspended his presidential fund for raising money. So I, I don't see him staying in there long. He also struggled to raise money just like Kamala. So um, it says here, Harris has never lost an election, a career prosecutor. She was elected a San Francisco district attorney in 2003, then state attorney general in 2010. She won her U.S. Senate seat six years later and quickly made a name for herself as a sharp interrogator of uh, Trump administration and appointees, including former Attorney General Jeff Sessions. 
According to a new poll, the majority of California Democrats wanted Harris to drop out of the race. Damn, people in your own state wanted your ass gone. Damn, Kamala, that don't, that's not a good look. The poll conducted by the Berkeley Institute of Governmental Studies for the Times showed that by 61%, to 24% likely Democratic primary voters in California thought Harris should quit the race. Wow, 61% wanted her out of the race. I mean, it's no point in her sticking around. She has no chance of winning. She, she never had any chance of winning. You know, without the Black vote behind her, her chances were completely diminished automatically. And it is saying that um, Harris support in the state had steadily slipped and she was the first choice of only 7% of the state's Democratic primary voters. According to the poll, which was conducted November 21st through the 27th, Judging by the second choices of her supporters, former Vice President Joe Biden and Senator Elizabeth Warren would be the likely main beneficiaries of her withdrawal, at least in California, which holds its primary on March 3rd. In recent months, her campaign was rocked by reports of internal dissent and dwindling funds Still, the decision to drop out was abrupt. Just one day earlier, her campaign had announced plans for California Governor Gavin Newsom, a longtime political ally, to stomp for her in Iowa later in December. And a pro-Harris super PAC planned to spend at least $1 million to run television commercials in Iowa, trumpeting her as a Democratic most feared by President Trump. <laughs> he ain't got to fear shit. The group canceled the ad by Tuesday morning. Well, y'all, I say goodbye. Bye, Felicia. Kamala, you are lucky to be in the Senate because after knowing your track record, with the African-American uh, community when you were attorney general, I'm surprised you're there. I'm surprised California even let you slip in there for real. But y'all, please tell me what you think about Kamala dropping out of the presidential race. And, you know, now she got all the time in the world to dance to Cardi B and sprinkle her hot sauce all over the place and talk to them weed smoking Jamaicas. Hmm. <laughs> this, this woman and her stereotypes will not be missed. Not among us. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.